I'm in Embird Editor and I have got an embroidery library design and you can see I've got two of the hoops that we just made in studio or you've begged, borrowed or stolen because we need those hoops. Right now I've got to choose myself colour which is not used anywhere else in the design. Tell that OK. And then I want to right click into that. I have to right click into the box and tell it I want to duplicate it. And my machine is already having a hissy fit at me as it thinks it's done enough work already. OK, and I move that hoop into position and I change the colour of that hoop change colour and what don't we have? We don't have a really bright green so let's go for a really bright green for that one because I need to be able to see which hoop is which and that's my little 110 by 126. Now there are lots and lots of ways to split a design. <clears throat> some of them very good, some of them are not so good. Now, I want to be able to split out all the trees and as much of the foreground as I can. Now looking at my hoops here, I'm not going to get all the foreground. So I'm going to move that hoop down just across. There we go. And then I'm going to move this hoop down. And that will give me that foreground there. Make sure I can afford to go up a little bit. OK. As you can see up here, there are lots and lots and lots of colours. Far more than we really need. So, hide colour. OK. Hide colour. To hide a colour, you right mouse click into the colour thumb and you tell it hide. OK, hide, and that's all those gone. So I right click into that one and I say split after colour. I then right click into this one and tell it hide all colours and then I right click into the first colour thumb there even though you can't see it show all colours there is our background but it's not usable at the moment so what I want to do now is I want to hide my green hoop so I'll tell that hide and I want to hide my little blue hoop this whole thing is a game of hide and seek. I'm going to pick up my lasso tool. And I'm just going to click around that. I should really have come in a bit closer with the magnifying glass. Not to worry. Out here a little bit, in there a bit, into here, up here, highlight all that and say split, split, come on, split. Thank you. you. Took your own sweet time about that. Okay. Now I really want that up at the top. So I left click on it and I lift it up. I release my left mouse button and I say insert before object. Okay. 
now I'm going to hide all the colours. And that's all gone. I'm going to show the colour on my second hoop and hide my first hoop. Magnify my screen so you can actually see what I'm up to. There we go. And pick up my lasso tool. Cut through these lines that I don't want. Until that split. Okay, I just want to hide these, hide all colors. Right. I don't want any of this. So now I hide my green. Hide. Thank you. I'll pick up my lasso tool and just click around that. Until it's split. Right click on it until it delete. Now that doesn't exist anymore. And I want to left click on this one and I want to pull him up here and say insert before object. Show all colors. Show all colors. Okay, now I want to show my two hoops. Show color. Show color. Click outside there. And here you can see I've got two sides and in the middle an overlapping area which is common to both designs. Now now I have to merge and it's very important that you use merge. But before I do that I'm going to file save workspace as and then navigate to where I've got my folder that I'm using for this. YouTube. Thank you. Bird split. And it's saving it as an EEF save. So no matter what I do now, what I've done here will survive. Now I go to merge and I go and I pick up the vertical line. So where's my vertical line? There we go. Okay. Hide all colors because, of course, I've just transferred something in. And I don't want my blue hoop showing. Hide color. Okay, now this one I have to duplicate. Won't give it to me. Duplicate. Change the color on the first one and make him deep purple. Okay. Oh, I've already got that color elsewhere. It's 
playing Beelzebub with me. No, it's the colour I want, not you. Change colour. I can't have that colour, I've got it elsewhere. So we'll go for that one. Okay. That's better. And I have to change this one. Change colour. And that's got to be a colour we're not using. So we'll go for pink for stink. Okay, now I want to move this one. on top of the other one. Just to make certain they are both identical, I press shift. I come over to the left vertical toolbar and I find the align and I tell it top. OK. That now is exactly where I want it. I then carry this one, and I left mouse key, carry it up, insert before. I highlight the top one. I hold down shift. I highlight the second one, and I say, or I would, except it won't let me, Join. OK. Then I highlight this one. I put my left mouse key down. I carry it up. And I say insert before. I click that one. I hold down shift and I click that one and I tell it join. Now, the alignment line from the first hoop will stitch last. The alignment line for the second hoop will stitch first and you stitch that on your stabilizer. And then you line up the two alignment lines. So if we click off there, there they are. And we've just split the background away from the rest of the design. So let's turn this one on. Oh, what's that? oh he's my little one. OK. Now, hide all colours. Hide all colours. Show all colours. Now on this one, what I want is I want the whole of the tree trunk and I want part of his trousers. And that's all I want. So I'll show you how we do that in the next video.